When simplifying algebraic fractions, sometimes we have to use something called the minus one trick. When we have an algebraic fraction like a minus c over c minus a, sometimes we're tempted to cancel, to say, oh, there's an a on the top, there's an a on the bottom, I can cancel them. There's a c on the top, a c on the bottom, I can cancel them. This is not allowed. Why? Because the a and the top of this fraction is part of a binomial. You can't cancel just a part of the binomial. You have to be able to cancel the entire binomial. Another thing is to say, oh, a minus c looks like c minus a. They're the same. I can cancel them. That is also not allowed. Why? Because this a on the top is positive a. This a on the bottom is a negative a. They are not the same binomial. So what do we do? The trick is factor a negative 1 out of either the top or the bottom. Let's see what happens when we factor a negative 1 out of this binomial a minus c. Here's the negative 1 we're taking out. a divided by negative 1 is negative a. And negative c divided by negative 1 is positive c. You have a negative 1 and you have a binomial negative a plus c, which can be written backwards. Negative a plus c can be written c minus a. So the negative 1 trick is a trick to allow you to write a binomial with a minus sign backwards. a minus c becomes c minus a, but only if you factor out this negative 1. Okay, if we have a minus c over c minus a, and we do the negative 1 trick, we end up with negative 1 times c minus a, over c minus a, and now the binomials are the same and we can cancel them. Our answer to this question is negative 1. One little reminder, if it's a plus sign instead of a minus sign, a plus c is the same as c plus a. This a is positive, so is this one. This c is positive, so is this one. a plus c equals c plus a, so we are allowed to cancel the binomials when they're written backwards if it's a plus sign.